medical practitioners are pushing for the employment of more doctors to help in the fight against coronavirus. Shadrach Miti reports. One key area that continues to bear the brunt of the pandemic is healthcare. Medical practitioners are worried that should numbers continue to rise, Kenya's weak healthcare system could be badly exposed. It has, it has exposed our fractured healthcare system, and beyond COVID-19, we hope that all actors and players and stakeholders in the health sector shall come together and ensure that we fix what needs to be fixed in this country. I think it's clear to politicians now that if you contract COVID and you already saw a deputy governor from Kilifi, there's nowhere else you're going. You're going to be here to kohapa pamoja sisi wote hakuna mbaya ataenda mahali kwingine estimates by the Kenya medical practitioners pharmacists and dentist union indicate that there are about 1000 unemployed doctors in the country in order to help address fears over lack of preparedness just like the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers who have been pushing for hiring of more practitioners KMPD wants more doctors employed the government through the minister of health immediately advertises for the employment of doctors across all cadres. Employment of pharmacists, employment of medical practitioners, employment of dentists. In such a scenario, you require like uh, two clinic officers for every one doctor, and you require uh, one, uh, two, two nurses for every clinic officer. Now we can see that uh, they're employing uh, five nurses to one clinic officer. With the medical staff being frontline actors in the fight against COVID-19, KMPD wants coronavirus listed in the Occupational Safety and Health Act of 2007. Besides creating an occupational injury and disease fund with a view to building a comprehensive compensation package for all frontline workers. This even as the Kenya Union of Clinical Officers advises against putting people with pre-existing conditions at the center of fighting coronavirus. We propose inclusion of COVID-19 disease in the second statute of Occupational Safety and Health Act of 2007 and the creation of an occupational injury and disease fund with a seed amount of 3 billion Kenyan shillings to cover all frontline workers in the public sector. We expected that the government must release those with 58 years of age home because we know that this disease is dangerous to them. And as two, we have those who are working but they have comorbidities. This to mean they have some conditions that actually can weigh them down very much if they, they are able to get any infection. Doctors are also appealing to the public to readily disclose their travel history whenever they go for checkups. They are afraid that failure to give disclosures may expose them to the virus. Please be honest to health workers. We have had already cases of health workers infected. And upon further inquiry, we have found that members of the public have not disclosed full information during the history taking of their travel history and contact. So far, Kenya has 126 coronavirus cases. The government estimates the numbers to have hit 10,000 by end of April. Shadrak Miti, KT News. The Big Q in association with Orca Deco.